uh, the toll would be free. Let me repeat that. They were told that there no longer would be a toll as soon as the bridge was paid off. Some 40 years later, having paid the bridge God knows how many times, the toll stands at $10, albeit with a Staten Island discount. There are 300 million people in this country, and we all live in counties or wards or townships, and as best as I can tell, Staten Island, Richmond County, is the only county, ward, or township that actually has to pay to get on and get off uh, our home community. So it's this history and experience that I'm, I'm forced to ponder congestion pricing. And frankly, after listening and hearing the tax experts, the traffic experts, the healthcare experts, I'm moved by the simple yet brilliant words of a rock star, Pete Townsend, who once said, no one respects the flame quite like the fool who's badly burned. This plan proposes to take $500 million, securitize it to create $4.5 billion. I haven't heard that number yet today. $4.5 billion, of which maybe $60 million comes to my home borough, of which 25 for bus rapid transit that my colleagues on Staten Island aren't terribly excited about. Councilmember Izzio, myself, other colleagues from Staten Island went and said, let's try to get some language to protect us in this bill, to protect our borough from the whims of the MTA when there's a less friendly speaker and a less friendly administration across the hall. And much to our distress, the MTA has said no. I thank the speaker and her staff. I thank Mayor Bloomberg, Deputy Mayor Shiki, Tatum Mahasas for doing their good work, but the MTA said no. No one respects the flame quite like a fool who's badly burned. I have to go no. Thank you very much, Council Member Council Member Zavella. Thank you. I join with my colleagues who have spoken so